A bug like the Super Confederacy is emblematic of a very strong design philosophy. The Super Confederacy is based in two things, the somewhat inflexible nature of interest groups, making any landowner revolt a CSA revolt, even if slavery is not the crux, and two, the way the game allocates power bases. Even in the North, the landowner group class has a majority share of power at the start. Unless industrialization is rather rapid and contained to the North, there won't be many non-landowner controlled states in the event of a rebellion. In the face of a pre-industrial rebellion, which is more likely early game or if the US fails to industrialize, landowners will take most of the country with them, and landowners just happen to be the CSA. For better or worse, that's how the game creates the American Civil War without railroading. This isn't a consequence of paradox failing to understand the Civil War, it's a consequence of how the game attempts to avoid forced events. It's a really big hiccup, but it shows us a bit of the inner workings of the game and how it creates dynamic history around things like class and power.